Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about BT corn, but before we get to that, I want to tell you a real quick story. There's an insecticide that was developed, I don't know, 50, 60 years ago, something like that, called Dipel. It's a natural protein that they found that can kill certain insects, and it's labeled in organic production today. All right, now let's talk about BT corn. Well, basically, <laughs> there isn't a whole lot of difference there, and, and that's where Brian's going with this. When you think about Dipel, which still does get used today, you can either dump the BT on top of the corn or you can put that protein into the corn. And here's the interesting thing. You say, wait a second. So it's the same thing that's getting used in organic acres, but now it can also be a GMO or a biotech solution too. Yeah, it is. Well, wait, 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 wait. So just so we're clear on this, Dipel is something you spray over the top of the crop. What we're saying here is with BT corn, what it will do is it'll produce a protein that is basically about the exact same thing as you're going to have with Dipel. So people talk about GMOs, genetically modified, whatever. It's like um, all it's doing is producing a protein it wouldn't normally produce, and that protein is what targets specific insects, and it's basically the same thing as what we're doing with Dipel that actually is approved in organic crops. Well, and there's a misunderstanding here that these BTs that are in the corn are some sort of insecticide and that, oh no, if we eat that corn, we're gonna ingest some sort of insecticide. No, it's a protein. And here's how it works. With BT corn, the bugs that that is targeting are bugs that have alkaline digestion systems Humans and animals have acid digestion systems. So our acid digestion can break that down, but alkaline digestion cannot. So that's why it, it doesn't hurt us at all, but it does hurt the bugs. All right, now, uh, something completely unrelated, but kind of related, here's where I wanna go with this. If you look at the COVID shots that have been given all over the world, billions of COVID shots, by far the most popular and effective are the ones from Moderna and Pfizer. and the reason why they are working so well is it's not the traditional vaccine where they stick the needle in you, the vaccine goes in and kills the target pest. What happens is when you get the COVID shot from Moderna or Pfizer, that vaccine doesn't kill the pest at all, doesn't kill COVID at all. What it does is it basically gives the body a formula to make a protein that the body wouldn't normally make just like BT corn makes a protein the corn wouldn't normally make. But anyway, it's that protein that the body makes that then goes and targets the COVID. So anyway, it's very similar technology to what we use in BT corn. So a lot of people have been very scared of GMOs and biotechnology and everything else. Well, if you've taken the COVID shot, that's very similar in technologies, basically about the same technologies we use in BT corn. So don't be afraid of it, it's just fine. All right, here's one other thing with BT corn. This is why I like it so much. We don't have to spray insecticide over the top of the crop, killing all the bugs out in the field. BTs are very specific to kill corn borers or corn rootworms, and they aren't going to kill all the beneficial bugs out in your field. The bugs have to take a bite out of the corn plant to ingest the BT. So again, there isn't any off-target problems with BT products. I really like it. It's greatly reduced the pounds of insecticide used worldwide, and it's helped us produce more crop and safer food. Well, speaking of more crop, it's hard to raise more crop if you don't have great weed control. We're gonna talk about stopping our Weed of the Week later in the show. <music> 